with that. I think I had a 45 second limit on the speech, so I'll keep it really short. And I get really emotional when I make it long, so I don't want to get emotional. Um, I just want to say, probably firstly, thank you um, to someone who's not here today, and she's been at every one of my launches, and that's Laura Harris. She's on a plane to New York today, and I think that's a pretty good excuse not to turn up to my book launch. Um, but I, I wrote at the back in the acknowledgements that um, the, what Laura Harris can do is pick the best part of my brain, and for anyone who's interested in my process, I write first draft and I give it to her, and that's how it begins. And we spend a lot of time just talking, and she does pick the best part of my brain. She she goes to an area that I didn't think existed, and she asks me all the right questions, and it makes me so excited when I go into that second write. And it would probably be a different book if it wasn't for her being my publisher. Perhaps it'd be as good, or but it'd be different, and I don't want it to be any different to what is out there now. So um, I'm really grateful to her and to my editor, um, Amy Edwards, who is in Melbourne, so she'll be part of the Melbourne loveliness this week. Um, and to Amy Edwards, who I just complain to all the time, like she does all this work for me, and all I do is complain, say, I'm not going to do this, and I'm not going to do that. And honestly, I'm so looked after with her. I had this situation today where I had to have a photo taken and anyone who knows me knows that's just like the worst thing that can happen to me. <laughs> and he said to me, you know, this photo's for the Spectrum. And I said, no, no, it's not. It's for the Sun Herald. And he said, no, no, it's for the Spectrum because I work for the Spectrum part. And he said, although, I, you know, my people could get a bit confused, I said, well, my person never gets confused and I can tell you this is, you know, the Sun Herald. And just to have someone who's constantly looking after me and... I, I sometimes feel as if I don't have to think. I think sometimes I ask her what city are we in, and I'll be doing that a lot this week. But um, it's just such a pleasure to have someone looking after me. And it can be really emotional, as exciting as it all seems. Being away from home sometimes is pretty emotional. And it's very overwhelming to get a lot of attention. So um, so thank you. And to Penguin, oh, um, but thank you so much. And just everyone in this room, like this book, I keep on saying that every book is so special to me, but the last book in everyone's life is always so special. But the reason we're in this particular spot is because half of the Piper Sun is set in a pub in Stanmore, and this is a pub in Stanmore. <laughs> and it's really a story about family and it's about community. And most of the people in this room belong to my family, my community, my friends. They lived in the inner west standing in the inner west at the moment. So, um, and I always think that you're not going to get credits and you're not going to get royalties, but you're kind of all co-authors in a way because I steal parts of your personality and snippets of your conversations and just some of the emotions that you kind of make me feel. So I just want to say thank you to everyone in my world because I don't think I can write stories like Tom's story if it wasn't for you. So thank you very much. Thank you.